Here's how to set a custom notification sound on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and every time you get an email or a text message, maybe you want a custom sound or song to be able to play when that happens, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we need you to do is download and install an Apple app called GarageBand. So let's open up the App Store here and we will type in GarageBand. Now, if you haven't already, just download and install it. It's an Apple app. And after you've downloaded and installed it, let's just open it up here. Now, you might see a screen that looks like this, or I'm going to tap on the plus at the top right. And you might see a screen that looks like this. It gives you a variety of different options. We're going to go over to Audio Recorder, essentially record whatever sound or custom song or whatever we want to use. I'm going to tap on Voice here. But I need to essentially set this up so that it doesn't have a couple of annoying things. You can see right to the right of that red circle is a little metronome counter. I'm going to turn that off because I don't want the metronome clicking while I'm recording it. I'm also going to tap on the gear icon at the very top right here and turn off the metronome count in. Now, after I've done that, you can see it's about eight seconds of recording time. If you need more, you can just tap on the little plus right next to the eight. And you can see eight bars. I'm going to switch this to, say, 15. Now, we're ready to go. Essentially, all you need to do is record whatever you want to have as your custom notification sound. So on here, I'm going to tap the red circle here. You've got mail. And then you can see I tapped on the little square, that little gray square on the left. So essentially, I just added a random thing of my voice saying, you've got mail. And we're going to use that as the notification sound for when I get new email. So now we're going to tap on the little drop down arrow at the top left and tap my songs. This will save it to my songs here, but essentially what we're going to do is we're going to rename this so that it makes a bit more sense. So I'm going to tap and hold, hit rename, and I'm just going to name this new mail and hit done. And now I'm going to tap and hold on it again. And you can see at the top right, I'm going to hit the share button. By doing that, I can select it as a ringtone. So tap on ringtone and tap on export. And we'll hit OK. Now we can hop out of GarageBand. We're done in GarageBand. Essentially, we've created that sound by recording it. And we've saved it as new mail, essentially, within the ringtones. Now we're going to head into the settings. And once we're here, we'll scroll down to notifications. And then we'll scroll all the way down to mail. So tap on mail here. And now you can see under banner style is sounds. Let's tap on that. And you can see if I scroll down to the bottom under ringtones is the one we just created called new mail. You've got mail. So essentially I can just tap on it. And just like that, I have that sound that I just recorded. Anytime I get a new email in the mail app, it will pop up and play this sound that I just recorded the custom song or music or voice or whatever. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you used to have any questions. Thanks guys.